Ladies and gentlemen, Farming Simulator 25 is now available for public download across all platforms, so do jump on it and go and get your download started. If you haven't bought it yet, please do consider using my promo code SIMFTNATION at checkout or use the link in the description to below. That really help out the channel and I'd really appreciate it. Uh, moving forward though, you're going to want to get some mods to play your game with and here is the video to show you how to do that. Uh, if you are playing on uh, all platforms, a PC, console or Mac, you'll be able to do it through the in-game menu as one option. You'll just go down to downloadable content, choose whichever mod you want, let's go for some medium tractors here. And then in the bottom corner you're going to have install or download and that's all you need to do. We'll show you how to enable that later on in the video. But if you are on PC, you want to find mods from perhaps a different mod site or particularly from the mod hub itself, you can do so uh, once you've chosen the mod in question. Right now, Giants have made available mods that weren't able to be installed with the game directly but are available on day one. So let's choose this drill here for example. You can choose download and then it's going to start to download it in the top corner just like that, nice and easy. It would be the same process as well for any other uh, mod site that you would choose to use and find download, but I would recommend using the mod hub anyway because it's always going to be more reliable and safe downloads. Uh, once it's finished downloaded there, you're going to want to open up two different windows to make this nice and easy. So let's go and open up your documents. You're going to open up one window which is going to be downloads and then we're going to open up a second window uh, which is going to be documents. Now you'll see these are all the mods that we are downloading right now. They're all finishing up nicely. so we'll have a few options to play with in there. On this window here, you're going to go into Documents, and you want to go into My Games and Farming Simulator 2025, and then you're going to want to go into the Mods folder. From here, it's nice and straightforward. All you're going to do is choose the mods in question, so you can drag them across uh, like this if you'd like. You can also click on them and press uh, Copy, or indeed uh, Cut and drag them across that way as well, uh, which would be nice and easy, but I prefer to just select them all by holding down control and then just dragging across. And then they'll all appear in the mod folder just like that. Nice and straightforward. And if you are playing on Mac, uh, you will need to go into your finder when you press and hold down on the go and command to get to library. Inside your library folder, you're gonna to go to application support, find the farming simulator uh, file here as well. It will be Farming Simulator 2025, but in this example, we're going to use 2022, but it's exactly the same process. You click onto there, open that file up, and inside there, you're going to see a folder for mods. And that is where you're going to copy and paste all of the downloaded mods into. Nice and straightforward. Now, if you have the game open when you download those mods through the uh, approach of the mod hub, you will need to restart your game for them to appear. So once you've done that one and you're coming on in, you're going to go in to choose your save game in question. We're going to just continue here with the Riverbend Springs that we've got going, nearly 10 hours on here already. And there you go. You'll see all the mods that you just downloaded. Now, what's the uh, main thing you need to do is make sure that they are all enabled. So you want to double click on them and they'll turn green. And that is all you need to do. Uh, now you can also um, unselect them as well if you want, but when they're all green with a little tab along the bottom like this, then you know they are there. Uh, we've got six out of six installed right now, so it even give you a number as to how many you've got, which is really cool, really like that feature. And then start the game and you are in. And that is as simple as that. If you have a zip file, uh, one thing to consider here as well, if you are downloading and if you're starting to play around with mods inside um, Giants Editor, for example, Beware that if there are two of the same mods, one is a zip file and one is the extracted folder that you were uh, fiddling about with. For example, if it's a map and you go in and you change the layout of a shed inside the map and then you put that back into the game, if the zipped file is still there, it will load that over the, uh, the unzipped file that you made the edits to. So you have to make sure you remove the one in question. But otherwise, once you've done this, you can hit start and you are good to go and choose them all in game, nice and easy. That will apply as well across all different platforms, uh, Mac and consoles as well, and you'll be able to take them straight away from there. And then once you're in game, it's quite simple. You come through to your menu now, you'll see them all in here. So we're just gonna scroll down and wait till you find them. Usually mods start at the very bottom of the default range. And there you go, there's your John Deere. The classic John Deere that I was worried that we wouldn't see coming back through. So delighted to see that it's here on day one as well. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is all you need to know about downloading and installing your uh, mods from across different platforms into your game. I hope this has been informative for you. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more. I have been Simulation for the Nation. We'll see you all in the next one.